Hey guys, I thought I would change things up a bit and instead of showing you what I eat in a day, I thought I would show you what I packed for my husband's lunches. These are always the kind of videos that I seek out on YouTube when I need some homemaking motivation, so I hope you enjoy. Okay, here is what is in John's lunch for tomorrow. So we had curry tonight, uh, chicken curry with just brown rice, which I know is like sinful. I should have used the right kind of rice, but I just had brown rice on hand. Um, this is the curry sauce that I use. It's from Amazon. It's got really good um, ingredients and it is so delicious. A friend of mine brought this as a lunch option for us um, when I had the baby and I texted her and I was like, please give me your curry recipe. This was the, the curry my kids love the most and I'm like, I hope it's easy. And she's like, it's so easy, it's this and sent me a link. Oh my goodness, it was so good. So I've been thinking about it ever since then. Such a great quick meal. So I did two pounds of chicken tonight and then it fed my whole family and I had just enough to send him for lunch tomorrow. So that was nice and easy. This is his Bentgo box and this box can go in the microwave for up to three minutes. So if he wants to heat this up at work tomorrow, he can just pop it in the microwave at his office. So there's that. Um, and then in the top here of his lunch box, I've got carrots and cucumber. I've got hummus in this dip cup here. So I'll go ahead and stick that in. And then, um, He's got some pistachios to snack on. He also has like a cupboard at work that he keeps tons of snacks in. Uh, or were, I guess he keeps them in there for um, his employees, but he gets into them as well um, sometimes. So if he doesn't have enough food here, he has other like granola bars and chip bags and things like that at work. And then uh, as a little treat, these are his absolute favorite uh, from Sam's Club, these organic crispy rice rolls. So I stuck a few of those in there as well. So nice and easy um, leftover utilization again for his lunch tomorrow, which is helpful for me because as I'm putting dinner away, I can just make his lunch. So that is his lunch for tomorrow. Okay, I just finished packing John's lunch for tomorrow and it's leftovers once again, but it actually won't be leftovers for the remainder of the week. So leftover broccoli, chicken, rice casserole. Um, Isabella made no bake chocolate peanut butter cookies for dinner to, or for dessert tonight. So he's got two of those. A couple of mandarins because I'm actually trying to use them up. We did not go through them much at the beginning of the week and they're starting to get soft. Um, he's got some hippies. He really likes the bohemian barbecue ones but all I have are the um, white cheddar ones right now. So I packed him some of those because I think he's out of them at his office because we haven't been able to find them in the smaller bags lately. So he doesn't have any in his pantry at his office. Um, and then I grabbed some of these Cliff mini bars um, for the kids, but I actually thought it'd be good for him because he has some employees out right now, so he's been having to work on job sites. Um, so if he's having to work, like physically work in the afternoon, then I thought that'd be a nice snack to bring. And then uh, kombucha, and when he brings a kombucha in, he'll drink like half of it, you know, one day and half of it another. So that's his lunch tomorrow. All right, so I am just making lunches for John and I for the rest of the week. So I thought I would just show you, so easy, I don't even need to show you, I could just say it. it's like four or five ingredients, but I'm gonna show you. Uh, so this is just some whole grain pasta. They didn't have the whole grain spirals this week at the grocery store, so I just got like the regular whole grain pasta. And then I cooked up a bunch of chicken. I just seasoned it with salt and pepper and some um, garlic powder. And I'm gonna put that in here with the pasta now that it's all cooled down and then. I stirred that up. Like I said, it's already all cooled down. So I washed some organic romaine, chopped it up and washed it. I'm gonna dump that in there. I'm trying to be lazy and keep it all in one bowl, but I have a bigger mixing bowl I would typically use, but I'm just, I don't feel like cleaning another bowl today. I'm gonna toss this all together. And then um, just because we're using it for the week and not serving it like right now, I would typically put some, uh, Caesar dressing on top when I'm mixing it together, but I want it to stay dry and not get soggy throughout the week with the lettuce. Um, and then I'll top it with croutons and then Parmesan cheese for John. Um, and so uh, I'm not gonna add those last couple things in, but I'll mix this all together and then I'll dish it out. Okay, and here's the finished product. So like I said, he's got some shaved Parmesan on top and then that's just all of the um, pasta and the chicken and the romaine and then on top here he's got the croutons just so they don't get soggy in there because like I said it's lunchtime now 
and this is for lunch tomorrow, so I don't want that to get soggy. He's got, uh, in here I put the Caesar dressing, so you can mix that up tomorrow, some grapes and some pistachios. I have the same thing for lunch tomorrow, and then I am making muffins tonight, so I'll probably throw a muffin on top, um, you know, in a bag for him tomorrow, and he will be good to go. So that is both he and my lunches for tomorrow. Okay, here's what is in John's lunch for tomorrow. So we had French dips for dinner tonight. So I sent him, uh, well, he'll pull the cheese out, but this can just be popped in the microwave. So that's the roast beef and that's the sauce to dip in. I've got a roll here that's sliced and ready to go for him. He can just heat this up at his office. And then he's got carrots and hummus to snack on and this in case he needs a little afternoon uh, treat. So. That is his lunch for tomorrow, which is Monday. Okay, I just finished packing lunches for tomorrow. Uh, I actually cooked up a bunch of chicken for lunch today as well. I just use a chicken tenderloin and then I cube it and cook it on the stove um, in a cast iron real quick. So I cooked a bunch of it and then I split it in half. Half of it I marinated with or I didn't marinate it. I added this after just so it kind of sits in this dressing a little longer, this Primal Kitchen Greek dressing is one of our favorites. And then um, the other half I reserved to be buffalo chicken. I added a little bit of wing sauce and some uh, salad supreme seasonings. So uh, for John's salad here, I've got, again, just like a Greek salad. So I just put salad, or I chopped up some romaine, um, tomato, cucumber, carrot, and then I added some feta. And then I've got that chicken here some tzatziki sauce and a, this is a whole wheat and flax, whole wheat, oat and flax pita from, what brand is it? Is it Justin? I can't remember what it's called. Joseph's, Joseph's pita, that's what it's called. Uh, if you have ever done Trim Healthy Mama, then you're familiar with the Joseph's pita bread. It's just become one of our favorites uh, in our house. And then I've also got this little perfect bar snack for him to have like as a sweet treat afterward or to save for later in the day. And then in his dressing cup, I've also got some more of this Greek dressing. And I just got Greek dressing all over my hands. <laughs> and then for myself, I have the same thing, just a salad mix down there with blue cheese on it. And then I put an avocado that I'll chop up tomorrow because I'll be at home um, when I eat it. So I can chop that up tomorrow, but it just makes life a little more simple for all me. All right, I'm finishing off this round of lunch videos with a snacky lunch. So, uh, John just got some carrots and some buffalo pretzel chips that can be dipped in some hummus here, just some apple slices, um, a mini cliff bar, and then these are one of his favorite things to bring, these little salami paninos, I guess they're called. I don't know, mozzarella cheese wrapped in salami, or sometimes he likes the, the prosciutto, right, John? You like the prosciutto or the salami ones of these? Yeah, for sure. And then a LaCroix. Do you have LaCroix at the office? John? What, babe? Do you have asking you questions? Do you have a LaCroix at the office or do you want to bring one? I got a fridge stock. Of the kind you like? Uh, yeah. Okay. So no LaCroix. So no LaCroix? Yes or no? Nope. No. Okay. So that's his lunch then. Tomorrow. Snacky lunch by request. He asked for a snacky lunch instead of leftovers tomorrow.